Hey there, I'm Matt, and I'm making a competitive rideshare racing game called Cabs of Chaos. This is the first video since announcing the game here on my channel, and it's been about a year since I started working on the prototype, so I figured I'd catch you up and let you know where I'm at with things. For anyone new here, let's start with a little recap. At the time I made the previous video, the game was more or less coming out of the proof of concept phase. I had a lot of questions that I needed to answer before deciding if this was anything more than a fun toy I was working on, and if I could deliver this idea of mine into a fully playable video game. So I built a first test level that I was able to use for my proof of concept, and worked on a first pass of the core features that I'd need to get the gameplay loop working. Mechanics for picking up and dropping off passengers, rudimentary AI for opponents, scoring, local multiplayer support, that kind of thing. I got a feeling pretty early on that this was going to be a more modular project to design and implement, and that it wouldn't require a ton of systems all needing to exist before figuring out if the game is fun or not. Due to my experience developing management games in the past, and my experience with the current game I'm working on in my full-time job, this is not something I'm used to, and so the piecemeal nature is part of the reason I've chosen to build this game specifically. I can find small chunks of time in between evenings and weekends to work on the game and feel like I've made decent progress every time. After a while, I was able to get all the features up and running. Building a small test map helped me answer a few of the big questions I had around designing a game like this, and I felt like the core concept was working. So, armed with this newfound confidence, I decided to go all in and announced it to you all at the end of last year. And then Unity decided to do their thing and put a big cloud over the whole project. So I spent a questionable chunk of time at the end of last year trying to port the project into Unreal in protest. I actually managed to get a majority of the visuals working the way I wanted, and had a somewhat similar vehicle controller working, but eventually though I decided that it was just going to be too much work to move everything over. I was fighting the engine a lot, and so I figured that the learning curve was probably too steep for me at this point in time. I do not want to be working on this project on and off forever, so rather than struggling with getting an Unreal port up to parity for another year of my life, it just made sense for me to return to Unity. For this project, at least. Plus, as much as I loved how much Unreal Engine feels like a piece of software developed by people who actually understand the struggle of making video games, I just don't think I'll ever be able to love the C++ experience that exists within that engine. It's just so, so painful. I actually found myself missing that little gray window that Unity throws at you when it recompiles your script. The grass isn't always greener, folks. And after that diversion, upon returning to Unity, I settled on a new game plan. My goal for this year is to build out a vertical slice of the game. I want a first actual level that I can play with people and experience what the game should be with the first batch of characters to choose from and race against. For context, right now I'm intending for the final version of Cabs of Chaos to have at least five different levels and around 20 characters to unlock. I have a number of different game mode ideas too, but right now I'm unsure how many of them I want to include in the vertical slice. But ideally, the whole thing should act as a demo of sorts to get a sense for the overall feeling of the game. I'm not expecting for it to be totally feature complete by the end of the year, but this build should have the majority of the components in place, so that future milestones can just let me focus more on content, optimizations, and polishing. So with a baseline of features and two playable characters already, the road ahead was clear. Spend the next few weeks building out a basic visual language for the user interfaces, and rebuild the existing placeholder inside of UI Toolkit. Obviously. Look, this isn't going to be a linear journey, and probably wasn't the best use of my time, but I'm really stoked with how the front end looks now, and I'm kind of excited by the design of it. Plus, I'm now familiar with Runtime UI Toolkit, and the improvements that exist in Unity 2023. After that, I actually fleshed out some of the ideas around various characters and vehicles for the game, and designed two new characters for the vertical slice. The main battle mode will have you face off against three other characters, and for the proof of concept this was just a clone with a different colour three times, so I really wanted to build out unique opponents for you to face off against in the demo. I'm expecting to make some changes to the character designs in the future, as I have a few ideas about how to get them closer to the style I'm after, but these are the first passes for now, and at least gives the player four characters to choose from. From there then, that leads me into level design. I now need to take what I'd learned from my test level and start building out the first actual level. Some key takeaways from my initial playtesting in this were that the verticality felt great and that the jumps and various shortcuts were going to be super important to the feeling of the game. I realized that for the game mode to work best in each level, choke points were going to be important for when you're giving chase. And I also felt that this initial map was too small, and that something about two or three times the size would probably feel good. So, time to get started just building out a level then, right? Well, 
Frankly, this is the most daunting part to me. I have absolutely no experience designing levels. I make management games for God's sake. So I know for sure that this is something that's gonna take up lots of time and iteration on my end. And the thought of building out art for an entire map in Blender is incredibly overwhelming. However, probably quite naively, I'm trying to not worry about it too much and just trust the process. I think the key thing for me going into this is that I have some tools available to make iteration smooth and painless. I wanna be able to test out the level and make changes without lots of back and forth, especially when it comes to all of the background buildings and props I'll need. So I've spent a bit of time building out some tools and figuring out a pipeline for this. I'm leaning heavily into procedural generation and I have made various tools that can procedurally generate meshes using splines. I've also built a base basic procedural generation node tool so that I can populate buildings in the world more easily. And so I'm hoping that these will help make the process of gray boxing and initial level layout a lot easier on me. I don't think these prop gen tools will need to get me across the finish line. In terms of asset quality, I'll probably have to go into Blender once the layout is locked and then build out level meshes for realsies. But I just want to avoid spending hours in Blender trying to get a road designed before I've even figured out how I want these spaces to work cart before the horse, you know? So white boxing then, that's where I'm currently at. I've created an overhead map for the level in Illustrator, and now I'm white boxing it in Unity. I imported the image and just started tracing over it to lay out my road network with my spline tools. With that done, it's time to build out all of the block meshes. So that's probably where my future is for the next few months. If you wanna keep up to date on the progress, then feel free to head into the Discord as I've been posting pretty regular snapshots in there. And if you'd like to help support the game and this channel financially, then please do consider heading over to patreon.com slash gamedevguide and becoming a Patreon. Patreons get access to videos early and now ad free, access to Unity packages for tutorial videos whenever possible. And I've also been posting a special patron only devlog series there with a more focused deep dive into the features I'm working on for Cabs of Chaos. I'll definitely be doing one on level design in the future, so keep an eye out for that. But that's it for now. It's both daunting and incredibly exciting, and I have no idea how this is gonna go, so wish me luck. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.